Liberty has already moved the chains after forcing a three and out for NC State. They bring pressure as the pass intended for Summers is knocked away by Amerson. New look of a formation here and Summers targeted for the second time. Drops this one again with Amerson right on him. They're down, they need to get down to the 17 yard line. Brown pressured up the middle and will go down at the 35. It's Art Norman, the redshirt freshman from Stone Mountain, Georgia. The strength of this Liberty defense. Third down and seven for the Wolfpack. Out to the 35-yard line goes Tobias. There's Summers. Great hit. It was C.J. Wittoff playing for Andrew Wallace. A big loss for that offensive line. He should be back in the middle of the year. Glennon needs the 30. He's got the first down with his legs. <laughs> yard run for Glennon. And they'll go back to Underwood, who knocks down Ryan Ayers to get a couple extra yards. The George First time NC State has crossed the 50. Glennon to Gentry. And Gentry close to another first down. He'll have it. Sigmund on the stop. The redshirt freshman from Rono. Uh, and you're to it. Now it's NC State spreading the field and a good grab. As he's knocked out of bounds, Tobias Palmer. Another first down. Glennon this time to Richard Smith. Collegiate field goal attempt for Nicholas Sadie. A native of Germany, grew up though in Wake Forest after coming over in his teenage years. This will be a 33-yard attempt, which starts the scoring. No freshman jitters for state places other than quarterback. Throughout the first quarter, he has yet to do so. He'll set up a screen here, and Allen is blown up. Audie Cole changing play, Reaney. And maybe it was, but in Liberty's favor. Brown, because of the bobble, now loses it. It is scooped up by Audie Cole. They'll bring Cole off the corner. Brown able to step up, and it's picked off into double coverage. NC State comes away with its second turnover. Injury in 2009, a hamstring in 2010. Lennon, there he is, his big tight end, Brian, but it's right through his hands. There's Amerson, who jumped the route, but couldn't hold on. He took the words out. Straight away speed, the way he's jumping these routes. Try and keep the ball away from Graham. And he'll elect to pick it up at the 15. Turns out to be a good move for him. Holding 48 defense. 10 yards the previous spot. TJ Graham. Career return yard leader at NC State. Fifth most in ACC history. And he's got a little bit of room to run. Graham to the outside with blocking. TJ Graham with the punter to beat. There goes TJ Graham. Sadie and NC State. The pick. Diving in front of the play is DJ Green. Are going to pick balls off. Momentum changes just like that as Washington sprints into Liberty territory. Glennon complete at the 20. Jay Smith. Good no call by that ACC crew. 
Third year starter there, Kawan Lee, the redshirt senior. Now over the middle, it's Jay Smith again, and Smith is down at the two. Brandon Robinson prevents the touchdown. Me, I'm calling that same play. Let's push him through for a yard and score his touchdown. What Tom O'Brien said, great running backs make offensive lines look better. They'll give it to Washington. He's in. Touchdown, NC State. First offensive touchdown. An early third down for Liberty gets him into the game. Brown hit as he throws it to Kelly, who can't hang on. Kelly blanketed by D.J. Green. Built by Dana Bible, Tom O'Brien. They want to put it in the air, but if the ground game opens it up through the air, then so be it. There's Taylor Gentry, the fullback. Stopped by. Put on a bunch of weight, a lot of strength. Here's Mike Brown in an opening for him, thanks to the option. Earl Wolf stops him shy of the first down, barely, and strips the football. Brian Slay rumbling down the sideline. Touchdown, NC State. And it looks like the line judge is coming in to mark the play. I thought his forward momentum. His penalty, though, after the touchdown forced this kickoff to... Start 15 yards deeper back in the dangerous man, Graham, who already has a punt return for a touchdown, is taken down by the kicker, Bevins. And Mike Lennon's name has been in the news a lot, taking over for Wilson. Big hole for Curtis Underwood. Underwood gets away. Touchdown, NC State. They're definitely seeing something uh, against his NC State defense. 30 yards for Summers. He has 90 on the game. Now they'll try Kelly, and Wolf nearly picks it. <laughs> NC State doubling up Liberty. Brown isn't able to get away from Teal on the inside. The redshirt freshman from Bennettsville. That's Hayes down to the bottom of your screen. And Ferguson has it knocked away. Dante Johnson, nine-win season last year. NC State trying to open the 2011 campaign with a win. Carter Finley back to life. Brown running for his. On second and ten, Glennon goes back to the air, and he's got Palmer for a first down running through Kawan Lee. And it's a dominant totally are to Jefford for Liberty, but they're down by nine. Here's Gentry trying to leap over Ayers. Looking for Summers. Amerson plays it well. And neither one comes down with it. Larson. Again, it's Underwood up the middle. That's where he has seen his most space. Kevin Fogg on the stop. So they'll start from the 33. And a play action for Brown. And he's got some room on the outside. Look at Brown get away from Cole. Now he loses the football. And Brian Slay picks it up. As if Slay hasn't done enough already this game. And, and we talked about it earlier. The one thing Mike Brown hackles. One and a half sacks. Two fumble recoveries and a forced fumble for Slay. DC play. They've got Wake Forest next week. So they've got some stuff to shore up. There's Howard inside of the 15-yard line. Aikens takes him down. But that's a great, that's, it's called a dig route. Double tight ends helping to block for Underwood. And Carter tries to seal off that side. Knocked down inside of the five yard. Well, definitely after second down, you would use it. They actually snapped it with 10 seconds there. Glennon, great catch by Carter for the touchdown. Brown looked at Summers, instead goes for Kelly, and it's picked off by Amerson. He's pretty much deserved one tonight for as well as he's played, and he's looking for a lot more. Amerson down the middle of the field is knocked down at the 20-yard line.
When we talked about the NC State defensive backs being one of the most... ...can only stop the clock one more time with 3.34 left. Washington with a gaping hole will gallop in. Championship. Brennan has it picked off by Amerson. Second pick for Amerson. And all NC State has to do is take an E. You know, his Emerson's eyes got as big as saucers there because he knew he was taking that back for six if he could have stayed on his feet. Makes the break on a ball, nice interception. He just happens to stumble, but he wanted to take that one to the house. There's no doubt about it.